Think about two old people who've been married for 50 plus years, sitting together on a park bench next to each other on a beautiful day, holding hands, not saying anything to each other, just being with each other and being in love. It's this beautiful image and I think points to, in human relationships, what we can actually have with God in contemplative prayer. And lust is especially opposed to contemplation. And that might not make sense because, you know, it's not the worst of the seven deadly sins. But the real problem with lust is that it's the most fun. And lust is a very physically and often emotionally powerful experience, very surface level and very in your face. It's like going to a rock concert, you know, you can't miss it. And so in consciously choosing lust, we are choosing that kind of pleasure against the kind of beautiful intimacy that we can have with God. Thank you.